The real work for our cultured marble contractors involved the cultured marble shower. This kind of shower starts with a preformed drain pan which is set in place and secured with adhesive over the drain pipe that our plumbers installed earlier. Then the walls can be cut to fit exactly into the available space. This is also when any cutouts for soap dishes and plumbing fixtures are made. A heavy duty adhesive goes onto the drywall before the cultured marble panels are set in place. Then the same process is followed with the other panels. This shower is getting a built-in seat, so a framework to support it has to be built from treated wood and nailed up in the shower space before the marble panels are glued on over it. This cove molding made from the same material is perfect for trimming out the edges of the shower. And once it's done, all of the joints and seams are treated with a generous dose of silicone sealant so that there's no chance of a leak. Cultured marble has been very popular over the last few years in a lot of different parts of the country because it's less expensive than ceramic and it goes together so quickly. This whole shower stall was assembled in only a couple hours, so it really makes a lot of difference and it enables you to really move along on a bathroom renovation like this. Now, almost every shower stall we're putting together these days has some type of seat, whether it's a corner seat or a bench type seat like this one. But it's very important that the top of the seat slope towards the drain so that you don't have water standing on it and that'll reduce the chance of any leaks occurring over the years. Now culture marble is available in a lot of different colors and it's a lot less labor intensive than ceramic because with ceramic you have to pour concrete to create the pan and a lot of individual pieces have to go together to create the shower stall so you can see why cultured marble has become so popular. 